What's going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video. Today we got the KD Majin Vegeta uh, in the house. This is a statue I have always wanted, never bought for multiple reasons. I had to assume a Vegeta. It didn't really fit in my plans. But with me going to the garage shelving and doing dedicated setups where I have Frieza's Android Cell Boo, it made sense to get another Vegeta. Now, Katie made a newer Vegeta, which does look really good. However, it's a complete copycat of Tsume, so I'm not going to get a second Tsume. So. Yeah, there's a white fabric that's like with a Prime 1 statue there. Here is an art print. Uh, so I do really like this scene choice that Katie chose. Uh, when he went to the tournament, Vegeta was showing how evil he was. I wanted to return to the way he was before. Cold and ruthless, uninhibited by foolish emotion. Oh, I love Vegeta. So... The box is actually bigger than expected, to be brutally honest. So here's the art box. We bring you arguably Vegeta's most evil moment in Dragon Ball history, the destruction of the World Tournament. So nice art box. To assume that Vegeta's box is much bigger than this, probably double the size because it has the aura. So I do also have KD trunks on the way, which is also uh, touted as one of KD's best statues. So let's see how good that one is. But I will compare this side by side to Tsume, as well as next to J. Ross Bus and next to MRC to determine, is this the best Vegeta out there? A lot of people have argued it is. I've always been a big fan fanboy of Tsume's Vegeta. Let's see what we got. Let's assume this is accurate. Um, no. Upside down. There's nothing to indicate what is accurate. Alrighty. Yeah, they should definitely put a top or bottom there. So this comes off, but is also on the base. I'm not sure if that means it was supposed to be packed separately or not, but I noticed this just came off the base with a peg. Here's the C away, got number 102. Yeah, it looks like a piece of this broke off of this piece of wood uh, that should be a pretty easy glue fix but a piece of wood that was attached to this but this also even comes off so Alrighty, so here is the base. Yeah, and there are some scuff marks here on the base because of this. Here is another piece of the base. Magnetizes in. I do wonder if this was supposed to be boxed up separately. 
I'm gonna have to watch a video because this wood piece broke off and it scuffed the base up several places. So this is broke right here. Scuff marks on the base. I haven't watched the unboxing of this really, uh, so I'm not 100% sure if that is supposed to be separate. I can even understand why it's separate. So you can put Vegeta in and then you insert it like so. All right, so of course here is Vegeta. It's also some sunglasses, a necklace, Alrighty, so let's check this out. Of course, I'll get some good close-ups. And then here is the secondary bust, basically, that you can display next to it. It looks like that is everything that goes in here. Actually, wait. One more item, uh, like some sort of bag. Alright, so the light up feature is really just for the Dragon Balls, which honestly, I'm never going to use. So I'm not even going to use it. I don't care to light it up. It's not like Aura from Tsume. Uh, you're not here for that. Now, this, I believe, goes right here. Look at that. I'll have to glue this back on. And there's sunglasses which I'm not a hundred percent sure where these go. Uh, I'll have to probably look at pictures. So give me a moment, folks. I'm going to go ahead and clean it up, uh, glue back on that thing and take some photos and whatnot. But here it is. KD. Majin Vegeta. Yeah, I have to figure out where this is at. There's lots of styrofoam that I have to clean out. That is where this broke. I feel like this should have not been attached to the base, especially since it can go up and down. It's not, it, it's just pegged. So when it's in the box, it can go up and down. So I'm going to have to watch an unboxing to make sure my seller shipped this correctly if that was supposed to be inside one of these inserts then obviously they boxed it up wrong and hence the damage. Now the scuff marks are right here from it bouncing up and down, it seems like. So either either my seller packaged it wrong or KD did a really shitty job in you know, shipping these statues, hence the damage. So someone's at fault, one of those two. I'm gonna watch an unboxing real quick and fix everything up, so stay tuned. Alrighty, folks, so I did watch a quick unboxing of the Vegeta video. Now, that is supposed to be shipped on there. However, the big thing is in the box, you have this that is supposed to be taped to that to hold it down from moving. He had everything else taped but that. You know, this was all taped. That was not. That is the problem. So technically it's not KD's fault. It is my seller for not properly packaging it. You can't even blame UPS on this. 
uh, because it wasn't uh, packaged correctly, of course that thing was going to move. It doesn't even have a magnet. It's just sitting there. So it was going up and down, scratching the base, causing the wood to break because it wasn't taped with that on it. This was just sitting there, not even on it. So it is my seller's fault. We could even file, you know, this is 100% my seller's fault. Now, I did glue it back and you can't tell. However, what you can tell are the scuff marks. You can see scuff marks right there and right there. Uh, even that Dragon Ball has a little scratch on it. And of course, this has a little scuff mark there. And of course, if you remove the whole thing, there's quite a bit of scuff marks. Looks like a scuff mark there. You know, because that wooden piece was just bouncing around, hitting everything. Every time this box was, you know, moved, it was scuffing up, up everything. So, it's 100% my seller's fault. Alright, real quick, I did have to test the light-up feature. And the light feature is purely just these Dragon Balls. So... Yeah, you can see the lighting inside, and it's like a little, I would say, plastic with a little star. But I do like, you know, I think it's better than no light up, but I won't be using it. You know, obviously, Tsume has a thousand times better light up feature. Alrighty, so here's a quick size by side comparison, size by side comparison of MRC Vegeta next to KD. Now, Vegeta's themselves. I mean, Super Vegeta is technically, like, buffer than, you know, Vegeta Super Saiyan. I mean, I still think he was just Super Saiyan 1 right here. He wasn't Super Saiyan 2 yet. Uh, his hair is a little bit more, like, in the wind blowing because of the key blast he shot, destroying the tournament, killing those people. You know, there's the dirt. They are about the same size, though. The foreheads... Uh, KD does make their statues a little bit more hyper-realistic to add more detail, so they, you know, make them extra ripped. And granted, Vegeta was extremely ripped when he was in Majin. Tons of veins, he was shredded, he'd been working out, training so hardcore for the last seven years in preparation. So, uh, when it comes Vegeta to Vegeta, though, I mean, I love the light-up feature on this statue. It makes it truly one of a kind. But if you don't have the light-up on, this hair does look better. Body to body, it's about equal in my mind in terms of paint. I think MRC is a perfect sculpt. It is 100% like Vegeta. Uh, KD's Vegeta, I, I do think it is slightly over-ripped. But the portrait definitely looks really good, very much like Vegeta. The base is definitely better on this one than this one. I do like this aura, but I don't care too much for this bottom part. I know MRC was basically just copying their life size. They just added the aura, took out the tree. But I still think they should have done something much more elaborate with this base. They should have added some sort of black underbase with the DBZ logo, get rid of that MRC, uh, make the aura a little bit better. It feels like the aura is kind of like a, you know, it's basically like a giant figure arts zero aura. I would say that's probably my problem. You know, we're like, when you compare like Tasume's aura or even KD's new aura or KD Gohan aura, it's just much better. This just looks like a giant figure arts zero aura. It does look cool lit up and you technically can remove it and, you know, just put maybe some like rocks to cover the holes. But based off initial, just looking at them both, I would say KD is better. If you're not comparing concept and just paint and sculpt, like I said, with if this head is lit up 24 seven, then this is better, but not lit up that is better when it comes to portraits. I think the faces are equal in terms of the likeness to Vegeta. You know, obviously this one has a little bit more detail, uh, you know, with the Majin symbol, the veins and whatnot. KD's does have a little bit more extreme texture on it compared to this one. This one is a little bit different, but I do really like this one. Uh, check out the gloves. They look great. 
And let me show you another Majin Vegeta head next to it. Uh, I got an extra... Now check out this head. So one thing I do really like about Katie's, I think the skin tone is really well done. The hair is really well done. The color of blue is extremely well done. So the overall paint app is definitely, you know, KD's paint apps are extremely good. There's no doubt about it. They do a phenomenal job. They're, they do have a downgrade from prototype to production. There's no doubt about it. Like when they show their prototypes, you know, they're like 10 out of 10 production, maybe 8.5 to 9 out of 10 in comparison. When you compare this just as a, you know, statue to another statue, this looks like a 10 or that might be like a 8.5 when it comes to just paint. Now their sculpt, they use Macon, I forgot his last name, for all their sculpts. Uh, Macon's definitely a very good sculptor. He does a really good job in making DBZ statues extremely detailed because, you know, this is coming from an anime from the 80s. Obviously, it's a very simple drawn character. There's only so much you can do if you want to truly bring it anime to real life. So, of course, you got to add something extra because you don't want something just like the anime. It'd be too simple. It wouldn't look that good in person. So, you do want to add, you know, more detail, texture work, make it more realistic, you know. So, it definitely, I think he does a really good job in adding that level of detail and realism to the statue. Uh, the overall concept on KD, I do really like. I think they did a phenomenal job on the concept. Uh, the base is fantastic. I loved KD's under bases with the DBZ logo, the two Dragon Balls, and then light up Dragon Balls around it. I think it's th probably the best under base out there. I am sad KD removed the Dragon Balls going forward on their statues, but uh, based off my available space, I probably won't be buying too many more KD statues. So it's, you know, Gohan itself won't have the Dragon Balls, but... All my other ones will. Let's go ahead and put Tsume next to him and make the decision. So based off these two, Katie's the winner. Dun, dun, dun. Now let's put Tsume next to it and see which one's the winner there. Alrighty, folks. Before we do get to the Tsume versus Katie, let's quickly watch what these statues are from. So if you're unaware, this is from Dragon Ball Z Boo Saga. Vegeta is at the World Martial Arts Tournament. And this is the pose that KD chose. Uh, this scene, this pose. So he more or less has that sinister grin and shoots his key blast. And then the destroyed tournament has a giant explosion. I can't play music. So this is more or less what the scene's from. And then, you know, you see the Satan, uh, the hats and everything flying. And then Vegeta does this sinister smile. And that is what that bust is from. So, very, very cool. Uh, so, very, very cool, no doubt. Extremely cool scene from DBZ. And you, as you can see, uh, right here, right here, there's the hat and then fist in one hand. So, that's the reason they chose fist and open hand because that's how it was his hair is blowing uh so overall i do think katie encompassed the scene extremely good they gave you both options uh that sinister spout doing the key blast and then lowering the hand and raising the cheek so very very cool moment in dragon ball z and i think katie did a great job encompassing it you know i don't know honestly how he could have improved it choosing this scene uh you know obviously you got like the whole tournament and everything behind but i think he did a really good job then you go to Tsume, which is this pose. Now, they chose the manga pose, which is the other hand, but here in the anime. Now, I can't play music, otherwise I won't be able to monetize the video, but this is more or less. So you have the aura, fist, two fingers up, you know, standing there. His feet aren't super wide in this particular pose. He's pretty ripped. You know, his entire look is a little bit different here versus the evil look he doesn't have that quite as evil look you no know, because he more or less went back to being a good guy right here trying to save earth so so that is more or less the pose and the face shot right there
and boom, key blast shot. And then Boo gets hit. Let's go back and freeze frame though as well at that pose. So also a very cool moment. So basically right there. So this is exactly what Katie's new statue as well. So the feet are quite wide, you know, arms slightly up, fisted, fingers out. Very, very cool. You know, you know, he powers up, electricity, clouds, very cool moment. Clouds are circling him. Such an epic moment. Then you turn to the two statues, and here we go. So let's analyze it piece by piece. So first you got the bases. I think both bases encompass the scene perfectly. They're both 10 out of 10 encompassing what the scene is. Uh, it's just a matter of what is more impressive. Uh, you got tons of dirt, flying, hats, purses, Satan, the perfect KD underbase versus Tasume, which has a simple black underbase with DBZ logo. Now, they do the best DBZ logos because they actually use like an acrylic Dragon Ball, where KD does the old style, which is not my cup of tea. It's kind of cheaper. <clears throat> so... The actual DBZ logo is better on Tasume, but the rest of the underbase goes to KD. Then you go above, you got this absolutely phenomenal dirt effect, these translucent clouds, which also have like a dirt effect on it. Really, really phenomenal. This is like one of a kind I've seen that just does such a good job with clouds and dirt, the swirling effect the way the aura swirls around it, and the fact that it lights up and does a synchronized sound and lighting. Uh, you know, it's definitely, Tsume has the better base overall. The only thing I'd say could improve Tsume is if you did the KD base there. <laughs> uh, but the way they do the whole dirt effect, the clouds, the aura is just absolutely phenomenal. You know, it's like next level, especially with the, the way the, energy waves, circles, and everything. I don't have it plugged in right now, so I can't show you, but uh, you guys have seen my videos in the past. So this base is extremely good and encompasses the scene, but overall, this is a better base. So base, we go to Tasume. Under base goes to KD. So right now you're technically at a tie. Then you come to Vegeta himself. So I don't remember who sculpted Tasume's. Uh, I, I used to know, but I don't remember anymore. Uh, but, you know, let's just check out, like, the boots. You got a bright yellow, some orangish effect, or blue effect on the boots. This one is a more orange color, and it only has three, where that one has four. The boots also are more, like, open right here. Tasumes are completely encompassing the foot. Uh, this one is more battle damage. This, he hasn't started fighting yet, so he doesn't have the battle damage yet. Uh, one thing that could probably make uh, Tasume's better is actually adding like a blood effect and more battle damage. You know, like there should be some sort of blood on the knees and the chest. Cause they do have some, you know, blood and scuff marks. There isn't enough. Like the only scuff marks you really see is stuff like that. You know, which it has, but there's no blood. I don't know if maybe that's due to licensing, uh, but... You know, that's one thing that I would say could be improved on the Tasume body. Uh, they're both very ripped. KD's is more ripped. You know, let's check out like the vein work. Lots of veins. And then Tasume's veins, obviously not quite as, you know, like KD does almost like a blue effect under the vein. This one, not quite as, you know, it's more subtle on this one. Like you can see veins, but this one is like they're bulging out like he's a freaking bodybuilder benching 500 pounds. You know, that's super shredded. This is ripped, but not too extreme. I would say Tsume is more accurate when it comes to that. Now the actual outfits themselves, at my distance, about two feet away, I can see Tsume's texture detail where Katie's I can't. It, it look, looks like a blue outfit. Doesn't I don't actually see any texture work. I see the texture work when I get about right here, a foot. This is when I can visually see texture work. You know, you, you get super up close and then you're like, oh, there's the texture. One thing they did do that is accurate on this is 
right here, he's he's not wearing a you know a one piece. He technically is wearing a shirt with blue sh 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 pants, and that is accurate. And that, they did that because of the switch out as well. So having that like fold right there because of the switch out bodies is actually more accurate than making this like a one piece. So that uh, is a you know a plus right there for KD. You know the fact I can see the texture work right here. This is really a, an opinion thing if whether you like seeing texture from, you know, two feet away. Like I can see the texture work on Kratos' pants from right here and some of these. Some other statues I can't see it unless I get close. I don't mind it at all. I think it works on both statues. So I'm glad they're not the exact same. So I get to enjoy both versions. Uh, but the one thing I do really like on Tsume's is the way they do this yellow paint to really like reflect the aura off his body. That is one thing that I find extremely unique and exceptionally well done. The way it's painted on there is just absolutely beautiful. So that alone, plus the advanced textures, I would say the body overall is better on Tsume. So then you go to the portraits. Now, this is where it gets a little bit more tricky, because this is evil Vegeta, this is good Vegeta, and they're doing different poses, so obviously his face is going to look a little bit different. He's not going to have the exact same look in each scene. But here is Tsume's. You know, and as you saw in that one scene, looks really good. I mean, that's definitely Vegeta, no doubt. And then you got KD. So KD's M seems to be a little bit more darker black to me. Uh, his head obviously has more veins. Just looking at the differences. Tsume has a little bit more, almost like darker under the eyes versus this one. Now the hair looks phenomenal on both. You know, they're both like yellow with some white tones towards the tips. Uh, I would say Tsume's a little bit more orangish. I, I think the hair is probably better on Tsume's, uh, like the color. I, I like a little bit of orange in mine. Uh, I've always liked a little bit of orange in it. So you know, Katie's is pure yellow and white. This is yellow, orange, and white. And it just pops a little bit more. Now, skin tone is probably better on Katie's. I think uh, Tsume's is just slightly, just very so slightly too tan. Uh, but it actually works really good because my J. Ross bus is also too tan. So they match up perfectly. Now this has no switch outs. All it has is the changing light ups. This has the switch out obviously doing that. So let's switch it out real quickly. Alrighty, so here is the switch out, which is also a really cool just pose. I mean, he's really just standing there, but what you're looking at is that face. I absolutely love when Vegeta raised his chin in that sinister evil smile. It is, I've always loved that scene. You know, I used to send that meme to my brothers constantly because I just love it. It's just like he's it's like so cocky and, you know, my life-size bust is just like that. So it works just extremely well. So I love the fact you get that switch out. That is extremely cool and definitely something uh, that Tsume doesn't have. It doesn't have a switch out. KD's new Vegeta will have a switch out. However, it looks funny because the legs are so wide. So I don't think the switch out works quite as good. If they did legs same as Tsume, they could have did a switch out. But he decided to do the super wide legs, so the other pose just doesn't work quite as good, in my opinion. I think if you're looking at just face-to-face, -to -face, Tsume is like maybe a 9 out of 10, where this is a 10 out of 10 when it comes to likeness. I think the likeness is just a little bit better on this one versus this one. Overall, though... I still think Tsume is the best Vegeta. Uh, the reason I say that is when I opened Tsume, it was like one of the happiest unboxing experiences of my life. Obviously, KD's did arrive with some damage, which always diminishes your joy. Uh, but the overall feeling I get, I still think Tsume is the king of Vegeta statues. Will KD's new Vegeta, you know, top it? 
So he is doing an aura similar style base with his under base. Uh, you know, you have a switch out. Uh, the portrait looks spot on. I don't think his aura looks quite as good. Uh, I need to see a production painted before I could decide if it's better than Tusume. I probably won't buy it just because I have Tusume and now I have this one and I don't need a third one. And I don't think I could ever come to actually sell Tusume's Vegeta because it's one of my favorite statues. Uh, so, you know, plus the electricity effects on this are the best electricity effects I've ever seen on a statue, uh, without a doubt. So overall, I do say that Tsume is the winner. Tsume for me is overall like a 10 out of 10 statue. I would rate this like a 9.5 out of 10. So definitely a good alternative. If you can't get this, this is a solid option B or their new Vegeta as well. If you want like this pose, then just get the new one. Uh, don't pay aftermarket prices for Tsume. Just go for the new KD, which is available you know, on their website. Anyways, let's see how this looks next to the J. Ross bust. And here it is. So the sculpts look almost identical. Uh, you know, it's kind of crazy. You know, heads are back, cheeks raised. Uh, KD's skin tone's a little bit lighter, obviously. Obviously, the bust is much, much bigger. I'm just looking like the teeth look exactly the same. KD did add a few things that this doesn't have. You know, obviously the veins are way more prominent on KD's where this one, you can see the veins, obviously two veins on each side, but they're not as prominent. And then you have, I mean, these veins are pretty big. See how massive that vein is, that thing's huge. Uh, so it definitely has a lot of veins. The one thing that the J Ross has is actual like skin, uh, like his skin texture is really well done. You know, it's kind of hard to see in camera. Katie's does have some skin texture for sure, but it's not as uh, prominent because of how the size is just not as big. You know, I'm looking at like the neck area. They're very, very similar. You know, this one has a vein on the neck. This one does not. But yeah, overall, they look fantastic together, no doubt. A very, very cool pair. You know, like if I didn't uh, own Tsume or whatnot, I could absolutely just put this here and be happy with that. You know, and there's the comparison next to Trunks. Trunks is taller, MRC Trunks. So this is not a very big statue. It's not super tall. I think it's only like 18 inches tall. So, but it does have a decent presence because of how big the base is. It, it is a, quite a big base. You know, like it is bigger than KD Goku, uh, Frieza, has more presence than the Androids. I think the Androids might be a little bit wider, but this has more presence because of all that dirt effect. Cell is my biggest base right now, and then Piccolo. Piccolo mostly because of those clouds. Those clouds are humongous. But yeah, overall, it definitely looks really, really good here. But it is not going to be displayed there. I'm going to be displaying it here because the idea is to have all KD products outside of Androids in these two setups. So let's see how it looks in the final display. Alrighty, folks. So here it is. He does fit absolutely perfect, of course. And I have plenty of space to fit Goku, even space them all out several, you know, like four inches apart each. And I did his little bust just in the back. That's, I wish I had a place to just put all these busts in. Unfortunately, you know, with my display, like I can't put them to the side. I don't want to put them in the front because, you know, they're not the focal point. So I've I just been putting them in the back like that, which I don't really like, but I don't even have place to put them in storage if I wanted to. So for now, we're just putting them like that unless I can figure out a better solution. So I'm going to be displaying probably mostly this pose just because I have the bust, you know, with that head. Uh, so I, I really like that pose overall. So I'm going to be displaying it like that. Here is the COA, which does look great. Uh, and then here is the art print it does come with. It doesn't come with an art print of him doing the head raised, but at least the COA is like that. So I won't, you know, I'm not displaying any of my art prints. I mean, I technically could, you know, put all of them to the side. I may. Uh, I just have them all actually right in here. Now there's my Piccolo art prints. 
So yeah, overall here it is now. KD Trunks is next. We'll go right there. Uh, so that is soon. But now we technically have three Vegetas, you know, all of different. They're all quite different uh, in many assets. You got Tasume, you got F4, which is a diorama, and then KD. You know, of the three, you know, obviously I said Tasumi was the best. If you're just comparing Vegeta to Vegeta, I think KD is a better sculpt and paint job than F4. F4 overall is a better statue in my opinion because it's a diorama with Goku and a monster base. You know, it's one of my favorite statues. I, I do wish the sculpt and the paint was a little bit better, uh, but the scene choice is just unbeatable and the size is, is just phenomenal. So overall, this KD Vegeta is definitely a very solid statue. Now, this did cost me about $1,000, which is quite expensive. Uh, I believe it retailed at $700 plus probably $200 shipping, so I think like $900. I paid a little bit more than retail. Uh, you know, and Tsume, when it originally came out like five years ago, it was $770 shipped, and that was shipped DHL from France. So at the time, it did seem like a lot of money. If you think nowadays, this is a complete bargain. Heck, their 1.6 costs more than this, uh, which is wild nowadays because of inflation. Uh, and KD's released, I think, what was it? I don't know if it was a year ago or two years ago, but let's just say a year and a half ago. So I, I think it's worth retail, no doubt. I, I think $1,000 is probably what this is worth. Uh, based off how good of a statue it is, the size, the detail, and whatnot. So it, it's worth $1,000. So if you're out looking for this statue, uh, I would say don't pay over a grand. Uh, that is what it's worth. You know, Tasume, I believe, is, you know, like a $1,200 to $1,400 statue. Uh, it, you know, that's what I would value that at if you're trying to buy secondhand, maybe up to $1,500. Although maybe it could be going for more, I don't know. I know Tsume Broly is going for like three thousand now, which is wild because it's not a three thousand dollar statue. I would say two thousand max. So of my KD statues, which is my favorite? Thank you for asking, by the way. Uh, so right now we have Cell, Vegeta, Boo, Piccolo, Frieza, Goku. So I think Goku has the best, most accurate like Saiyan sculpt. Piccolo has the most presence and the most switch outs. Cell has probably the coolest looking base because of the what's going on. I would say Vegeta has the second best base. I would probably rank it Piccolo's best and then... God, this is really tough. Maybe Vegeta and Goku tied, and then Cell and Frieza. Uh, they're all such amazing statues. That's the reason I'm getting these. I, I think KD are the best 1-4 scale statues out there. I'm not interested in Last Slate, Figure Class, any other studio, to be honest, outside of Prime 1 and Tsume. Because uh, KD can compete with the big boys, uh, you know. So his statues are my favorite, and that's the reason I'm focusing and collecting those right now. Uh, you know, once we get KD Trunks, KD Vegeta Final Flash, KD Goku Kamehameha, KD Gohan, KD Cell, then this entire display is completely full of KD products outside of Androids. He is doing an Androids, but he's doing a diorama, and I'm not looking to get a diorama with future Gohan, so that's going to be a pass for me. I am not getting Janemba just because I don't have space, so that is a pass. I, if he does do a future uh, Trunks short-haired version... I would buy it as long as it's, you know, amazing. So let's see how that is. Now, my buyer for MRC Vegeta did back out, by the way. So that's back up for sale. This is a prototype. Keep in mind. So I do value prototypes more than a production piece. Because prototypes are uh, better paint quality. They're much more rare. Usually only one to two made. In this case, there's two made. Where a production, there could be 500 made. So you're getting one of two prototype so i do value that more than a freaking production piece so that's why my price is 250 dollars higher than what a production piece would be you know you could buy that for 500 bucks for the production or you could buy a prototype for 250 dollars more i think it's worth it 
So if anyone's interested, 750 for MRC Vegeta, which I absolutely hate selling that statue because it's so amazing, but I simply do not have space. I'm trying to think of ways like how I could justify keeping it and where to put it, but I should sell it just for space reasons. Uh, we will see. Technically, I've not sold KD's cell. I've considered potentially even just keeping it, changing the shelf out to a longer garage shelf and doing Jusume Frieza, KD's cell, Transcendent Studios, Boo. So I have two versions of Boo and have the three villains underneath and they do Prime on Goku, Prime on Vegeta. I've thought about doing that. If I can't sell KD's cell, then I'll probably do that. Uh, then again, I have Master Chief right there, so I'd have to figure that out. Anyways, folks, this video is getting way too freaking long. So if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, join my Facebook group, DBZ Resin Collectors, and have